as well. I've definitely seen him lose games where he overextended himself. But yeah, he's just going to run in, uh, <laughs> have two tanks just kill, force the SCVs off the line, kill more, and this is just starving Nada off even more. I do believe his main, I've got to assume his main is completely dry at this stage. His secondary's got to be completely dry, and now he's just running out of resources. More attack forces running up to that position. Probably some vultures in transition, maybe some tanks. Doesn't even need... I don't even feel like he needs to worry about the Wraith attack now at this stage. Wraith would just be a bad investment for Nada. He needs those siege tanks to provide that nice wall for him. And Iris just expanding everywhere. He's got his factories rolling. He's got... It looks like he's building a control tower of his own. If he felt like it, he could transition. It looks like a single dropship moving out in the field. Able to drop off a single vulture for Nada, but that's not going to get a lot done. It looks like he's going to be able to plant a mine for, for, before engaging another vulture. And I've got to assume that Iris is actually up on the upgrades. He had that science facility up a long time ago. A long time ago. So, uh, yeah, now this game pretty solidly in Iris's hands. I can't imagine him throwing it away. There's that nearly empty main. And then the opposite end, yeah, you can see that armory in position. Nada just trying to clear some mines with a little teeny attack force here. Trying to push up, and yeah, he's got to uh, gotta get aggressive. He's got to try to do something. Maybe get lucky. Maybe Iris will just com be completely caught out of position and attack move directly into his tanks. You never know. So, But he's going to do that last-ditch effort here. Just try to do that slow push across. To try, and he's kind of doing a slow push retreat draw here. It's kind of odd. So Iris just trying to concentrate on that attack force. Pick off pieces here and there. He's actually got the level 2 weapons upgrade over the level one weapons upgrade for Nada. Um, Nada never planning that science facility to really get that level two upgrade. But very quickly wiped out. And yeah, just the threads of hope you can see. I, I remember seeing the boxer interview where you crush the threads of hope of your opponent bit by bit until they are forced to resign. That single vulture hanging out there at that three o'clock with that mine planted, and just going to keep that command center down for that much <laughs> that much longer. A little more harassment. There's the comm set to at least clear that up. But um, yeah, Nada just not in a very good position. Iris controls the entire map. He's got all sorts of expansions all over the field. If he won this, it would be an absolute miracle absolute miracle more attack troops kind of pushing out and i think iris is just yeah he's kind of going army hunting now he's trying to keep with his comm set keep an eye out i'm surprised he doesn't have more comm set stations actually out there just trying to comm set figure out where not his army is and then run up and crush it really fast before it can really do anything and he can do that with just overwhelming numbers even with not a establishing position because he can just afford to lose a couple troops here and there so and not i think knows it just trying to create a little bit of trap here and there, trying to get what he can what he can get out of it, but it's just not going to be enough. Just too many Goliaths, too many tanks, not even bothering to siege, just barreling over. And with that attack force out in the field and just hanging out over that secondary, that's going to cut the that that inside six, sorry, the inside twelve, away from Nada's reinforcement point. So because they're just they've got an established position on the ramp. Now running up to take that out. Iris with his next attack force of reinforcement should be able to cycle around to the twelve o'clock, swing back and take that out. He's also going to be able to take out that three o'clock with just a couple vultures here. Yeah, not even going to get established there. So that, uh, let's see if Nada GG's. I'm surprised he hasn't GG'd as soon as those tanks establish a position on that ramp. I don't think he's really got any more cards up his sleeve. It looks like he's got a couple mines there to the six, but those mines are not mobile. They're not going to be able to get really anything done. A couple siege tanks there on that, again, on that inside 12. But Iris continuing to establish some expansions. Let's see if he moves those vultures in, because he can take those. He can run those vultures in from the north or even from the south. Take out all those siege tanks. Looks like he's going to plop down a couple more machine shops to get a couple more tanks out. I've got to assume this is a wraith of his own, or something. It's, it's possible he's building a science vessel for who knows what reason. Little dropship cycling out there. Really, it doesn't matter what Iris builds as long as he keeps building an army. And Iris actually backing off, seeing that dropship out in play. Surprised by this. Let's see if he's just going to move around again to that, that center position and siege over that wall one more time. And Iris' army actually smaller than I was expecting for the stage. Maybe it's just because of the factories pumping out. He knows he can just start Nada out at the same factory count here. He's got to have a lot of resources in the bank. A single dropship kind of meandering out there. Really, <laughs> Iris saw it completely, and it looks like he's going to send some vultures after it. A couple more vultures. Uh, eh. There's a dropship of his own, actually, so it looks like he's going to go for maybe a drop or two directly into the main. Kind of a, He can just elevator his attack force wherever he wants it, actually, at this stage, because Nada's just too spread out to do anything. A couple siege tanks here to the south going to get taken out by these vultures, most likely, but uh, it's really not going to accomplish anything either direction for either player. Actually, no, it looks like they're going to be okay. That dropship trying to find some room to just get something done. But this is kind of that last-ditch effort from Nada. Nada trying to prove something that he maybe could have done something should, had circumstances been different. But uh, really, 
a little bit of a desperation attack here. He's running into reinforcements, seeing some drop chips out there of his own. The three vultures is going to try to wander around. They might get some kills here. Actually, it looks like they're going to ignore the nine. Two more vultures coming up to support. And vulture on vulture, uh, uh, Iris is going to win because just the upgrades. Vulture's getting taken out very, very quickly. SCP running up to the 12th, just getting lambasted very, very rapidly. And now, yeah, not a completely isolated. He probably should have GG'd maybe about five or six minutes ago, but still lingering in this game. Um, not quite sure what he's planning on doing at this stage of the game, aside from just kind of, it almost feels like a, in one of those poker games where you <laughs> end up going out just by anti grinding out. Kind of the same thing here for Nada. He just doesn't have a lot of attack. He doesn't have anything he can do. He's just going to starve. Now running in with all of his SCVs, all of his tanks, the last ditch, the uh, <laughs> the suicidal run here at the very end. Siege tanks running up. Tanks just running in headlong into mines. Lot, all the SCVs coming out. And then let's see how far they get before they end up getting crushed. Iris does have... Oh, that's not what you want to see. I almost feel like this is the Peasants Revolt here. There's GG from Nada. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Special thanks to everybody again who donated. I'll tell you how fast this process in a second, and thanks for listening.